As the political crisis in Venezuela continues, tens of thousands of Venezuelans took to the streets Tuesday in dueling pro-government and pro-opposition protests. Opposition leader Juan Guaido addressed his supporters and announced a deadline for allowing aid shipments to enter the country. Today, we announce that February 23rd is the day for humanitarian aid to enter Venezuela. We stand by all sectors, delivery drivers, nurses and medics, to get ourselves organized. Military officers, who in large part have remained loyal to President Nicolas Maduro, have been blocking access to supplies at the Venezuela-Colombia border. Critics have blasted the U.S. for using aid as a political tool to undermine Maduro's presidency while garnering support for Guaido. The Red Cross and the United Nations warned the U.S. to not send aid to Venezuela without the approval of the sitting president. The U.N. said, quote, humanitarian action needs to be independent of political, military or other objectives, unquote. On Monday, Guaido tweeted a picture of himself surrounded by pill bottles, saying some aid in the form of nutritional supplements made it into Venezuela, although it's unclear where they came from. In an interview with an Israeli newspaper on Tuesday, Guaido, who declared himself Venezuela's interim president last month, said he's in the process of restoring ties with Israel. Venezuela severed its relationship with Israel a decade ago under the leadership of Hugo Chavez, who instead developed links with Palestinians. Guaido also suggested he's considering opening the new Venezuelan embassy in Jerusalem, following in the footsteps of the United States, which last year drew international condemnation after it moved its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, a city that Palestinians want as part of a future state. Meanwhile, President Maduro continues to call out the U.S. for its role in a attempting to oust him from power. In an interview with the BBC Tuesday, Maduro said the U.S. is ruled by white supremacists. It's a political war of the American empire, of the interests of the extreme right that today governs, of the Ku Klux Klan that rules over the White House to take over Venezuela.